Okay, hi, we're back with some more numbers. We're working on numbers from zero to a thousand now. And we have, you have all of these number pieces in your math box. And if for some reason you haven't separated out all of your ones and tens and hundreds, then you should do that and put them in a big bag. Like a, if you have a gallon Ziploc bag, that works perfectly, okay? You want to keep them all in in a place together so they're so you can use them all right and if you are watching this video and you're confused about something you can always pause and then get your shapes out your number pieces and you can make the number and sometimes just by making the number with your hands it helps your brain to understand what's going on so Let's continue looking at these numbers. It says, which number is greater? Let's try to, and we're supposed to drag the star to the greater number. So this one has four hundreds, three tens, and one one. So it's 431 squares altogether. This one has three hundreds, four tens, and one one. This one has more tens, but this one has more hundreds and a hundred is a lot more because each hundred has 10 tens in it, right? So the bigger, whoops, uh oh, the bigger number, oh, we don't need you dictionary, not right now. The bigger your number is 431 because there are more hundreds, right? Let's check out this one. Um, what is the same about these two numbers and what is different? So this one has four hundreds, three tens, one one. Same thing we did before, right? 431. This one has three hundreds, four tens, one one. Both of these numbers have one one, right? They have a different number of tens. This one has more tens and this one has fewer tens, less tens. But this one has less, fewer hundreds. This one has more hundreds. So that means it's a bigger number, right? Here are some things other kids thought. It says 341 has one more 10. Yeah, we knew that. Both numbers have only one one. Both numbers have the digits one, three, and wait, one, three, and four right? And 431 has one more hundred than 341. Are those things that you noticed? Yeah. A digit is just the number itself, right? And then the number is representing different amounts depending on where it is in the bigger number. So if the four is here, that means it's four hundreds, right? But if the four is in the middle, that's representing the tens. And that's that means there are four tens. So where the digit is matters a big, a lot. It's a big deal. Okay, greater than or less than. So that's like 400 plus 30 plus one or 300 plus 40 plus one. So we know, remember that the, you're not supposed to think about it like an alligator mouth, but man, I always think about it that way. You're supposed to think you would put two dots on the bigger number, one dot on the smaller number, and then you'd connect the dots. And that's the way, so 431 is greater than 341. There we go. We know that, right? Compare two numbers. Count the number pieces and write the number under each set. Then drag the symbol to the circle to comp compare the two sets. So right here, we have how many hundreds? Right. We have three hundreds. How many tens? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven tens. And how many ones do we have? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have 379 on the left there. Okay, how many hundreds on the right? We have one, two, three, four hundreds. We have how many tens? Two, two tens and one one. So we have 421. They are not equal, that's for sure, right? So which one is bigger? 379 or 421? Right, because the 421 has more hundreds. Okay, so we need to put that there. Let's remove this to check. Let's see. 379 is less than 421. We got it right. Okay, let's try this one. 
Count the number pieces and write the number under each set, then drag the symbol to the circle to compare the two sets. So you look at these numbers, how many hundreds do we have here? Six, six hundreds, how many tens? Five tens and how many ones? Okay, so we have 654. And what about on this side? What do we have here? Four hundreds. How many tens? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, nine tens. How many ones? They're trying to trick us. There are zero ones. So it's 490. So which one has more of these little tiny squares? Yes, this, the 654 is greater than 490 because there are more hundreds. Let's get rid of that and check. <gasps> we did it. Okay, now drag the sets of number pieces to show their values from least to greatest, then drag the numbers to show the value of each set. So which one, if you just look at the hundreds, which one has the few the, the fewest hundreds, the smallest number of hundreds? Because we know that's gonna be the least. So which one has the smallest number? Yes, this one, right? It has three hundreds. So we're gonna put that over here. That's the least. Which one has the greatest number of hundreds? Yeah, the one with six hundreds, right? We know that that's going to be the greatest because it has the most hundreds. Now, this one's confusing because it has one, two, three, four hundreds, one, two, three, four hundreds. So now we need to look at between these two, which one has more tens? Because they have the same number of hundreds. So now the tens come into play. Now we have to look at the tens. Which one has the most tens? And that's going to be greater. And the one with fewer tens is going to be less. Okay. So then we're supposed to drag, let's see. So we know this one is the 300 one, right? And we know this one is the 600 one. And now we have to count the tens. We know this one has nine tens, so we can drag 490. And so by process of elimination, this is the last one, right? We know that must be 421, but we can check. Does it have two tens and one one? Yes. Okay, so now with your number pieces, I want you to make a few numbers. And um, if you don't have your number pieces out, you can pause the video, get your number pieces and come back, okay? So I will do the same. Okay, so the first number I want you to make with your number pieces is 128. Let's see if you have this down. It doesn't matter if you use yellow tens or green tens. I call them skinnies. They're long and skinny. It doesn't matter if you use yellow ones or green ones. Same with the ones. It doesn't matter what color they are, okay? They're still ones. Okay, here's what I did. Let's see if it matches. Okay, I should do it this way so it's easier for you to see. Okay, I have 120, two tens, and then I have eight ones. And I arranged them like this initially so that they would be easier for me to count, four plus four. Okay, so 128. Got it? Is that what yours is? I bet you. Okay. Um, let's do this one next. Whoops, whoops. Let's see. Okay, ready? Okay, you do it and I'll do it. I like using the number pieces. I think it's fun. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. You can pause it if you're not ready. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's hard for you to see, but I have one, two, three hundreds. Three hundred, I have three tens, three hundred thirty two. Da, 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 da. Three hundred and thirty two. Does yours match mine? Okay, here we go. Let's do our next one. Let's do 
Okay, you do yours, I'll do mine here. Let's see if we have the same thing. It's going to try to trick you. Look how many tens there are. Whoever made this is trying to trick you. There was me. Ready? Okay, I have two hundreds. How many tens do I have? No tens. There are no tens in this number. And then I have seven ones. 207. No tens. If I added a 10, it would be 217, 227, 237. No, but no, there were no tens. 207. Okay. Did yours match mine? How are you doing on this? Is it making sense? If it's tricky and you didn't get it, you could you could go back and you could do it again and see if you get it right the next time. Okay. Okay, make. Let's do this last one. Make that number. Ready to see mine? Okay. Hard to tell, but I have one, two. I have three hundreds, I have one ten, and I have five ones. Three hundred and fifteen. Three hundred and fifteen. How'd you do? Okay, we're gonna practice some more. Okay, good work, team. Nice job, mathematicians. Bye.